Hey everybody, my name is Kadem, welcome back from the video of Humankind. Uh, in the last video, we went ahead and created our first city into the new contents. And uh, we ended up having this city. We gained it from our neighbors, which they gave it to us via a grievance that we had uh, regarding us uh, owning this territory, this part of land right here, which is very interesting. Now. The most, the biggest thing that I'm gonna be scared of in this video is a revolt, probably. One of my cities actually revolting, either Napada or Karma, even both, probably. Uh, Napada, I had to actually use stability mod, boys, in order to put it at 100 in Karma. So in Karma, we have 100 stability, but only because I put it there. It, look at, it's turning down towards the 34. Oh, we got too many populists, or I, I just don't know how to do things. I just don't know how it all works. How we can possibly, like, uh, help ourselves out. Like, they, over here, it's so rough. Look at that. It's really rough. And I don't know what exactly I got to do. I do need to put some people into the science, though. Food, there's too many people into food. Yeah, there's just way too many people into food. I don't know. Like, we don't need more people right here. What we need is just uh, people that are competent enough. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want growth anymore in this, this, these cities. Yeah, I want economic technology subdivisions. Yes, we want that. That's what we need. We need money and science. Money and science. That's what we need to focus on. We don't need food right here. The Pada has, is strong enough as it is. And same thing for this guy. All right, we want. Uh, Technology subdivisions. We want that all the way. Uh, food can, food can stay out of the way. Don't matter to me, boys. And uh, we're just gonna not focus on food anymore on these two cities. Why? Because we've got enough populace. I don't want to focus on these guys. And same thing for, for this guy. It's gonna be all right. He's doing fine. Just put another one into science. Uh, city growth. Not so much, actually. We, we don't really want the city to grow that much. Let's just do technology subdivisions for all of them. All right. So we're getting a lot of money and a lot of science per turn because of that. So that's what uh, we're going to be focusing on today. Don't want to focus on anything else. We still have those three civics that for some reason I can't do. Not too sure why, boys. I'll have to figure that one out. But uh, we'll, we'll try and figure that one out, I guess. We gotta hand the, uh, the turn first. Another thing that happened in the last video, if you guys um, uh, didn't see it, we actually ended up um, going to the industrial era, which puts us very far ahead of all the other, uh, I guess, uh, civilization. We did get just research chivalry, which gives us the Meharists, uh, the Tourney Fields. We've got also the Knights. And we've got some uh, Hamlet, which I believe is probably something we can build. So mutinous in Nepada. So rebellion will occur if you don't raise its stability. Yes, I am uh, aware of that. Nepada gained an extra two populace. Added to change, the Aztecs now feel different too. They feel hesitant about me. Resources sold. And you may ask for reparations. What happened? Okay, so I've got... Uh, I've got um, Reparations and stuff that happened. I'm not too sure. Uh, so yeah, 20% it's going down towards the zero mark, boys. This is very, very bad. I just don't know anymore. Like, what can I do to in order to help myself, uh, help out? And we need a lot of stability in order to have Hamlet. Yeah, this is. It's really bad, boys. Stability is a really bad thing for me right now, and I just cannot find uh, something to do. We do have the infrastructure. Let me let me quickly purchase it with uh, all the populace that we've got in the Pada. Boom, there we go. That uh, gave us an extra star. And even with all the populace we had, we're still struggling. Look at that. How is that possible, boys? How is that even happening right now? Uh, we got this one right here. I'm just going to quickly uh, build that tourney field. Yeah, the Napada is doomed to fail, boys. Nepada is doomed to fail right now. So you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to absorb Nepada. I'm going to have to absorb it. If I don't want it to... Like, I don't want a mutiny or anything happening. 
I'm actually gonna have to absorb it somehow because that's the thing. I don't want to do that though. I don't want to have to absorb it. We're coming towards the end of the game right here, boys, pretty much. And I'm feeling like I'm gonna lose the city. I'm gonna end up losing it for sure. This is not good whatsoever. We need more commons. We need more stability. Where am I gonna put all these things, you know? This is gonna be... It's hardcore right now. It really is. And what about Kerma right here? How's it doing? Yeah, 90. The stability mod doesn't really seem to be doing too much. And I'm actually... I got way too many Poplars. We're just gonna spend uh, 14 of my Poplars. We're gonna spend 14 of them and... Just quickly build that uh, stability thing. And also, we're, the, we're gonna do the Amnet. Now, the Amlet is probably, yeah, it's another uh, special district. We'll just build one right here. There we go. And that should give us... So, we need a lot of money for that. Yeah, that's a lot of money it costs. Well, I I'll do it anyways. I'll just build it really quick. It costs a lot of money. Holy shit. And what about Toledo? Still working on these. Uh, on the on the research quarters. Let me just quickly buy the research quarters. Uh, not no, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, so the money mod has been equipped finally, boys. Uh, it took a while for for it to to actually work, but it worked. So now we've got this over here. We're still gonna build like the special district over here. We might as well put it all the way here. That's the problem. It seems like every time I'm gonna just quickly build it the the hamlet. Every time we build something like this. Seems like it brings down, every single district brings down over time the my ability to actually uh, get a lot of stability. It brings down my stability by quite a lot, uh, a long margin, margin. And I don't know why that is. It gives me food and industry, so all these districts really give me a lot of good bonuses. It's just for some reason, it counts as, as being super bad or something, boys. Oh, we're just gonna put it right there, there we go. Quickly build it. We got another place we can build it. Uh, yeah, every single outpost that you, uh, uh, that you possibly can have, you can build it. So look at that. Now we've got a lot of amulets. But with that, I guess... I don't know why it gives my stability trending down for so, uh, so much. So that just means that it's going to trend down until it goes at 44. And then it's going to go up again. So we got to wait before rebuying stuff and all. Okay. I got. I think I understand where this is going, but I still, this is kind of a weird situation, boys. Where I'm not too sure what to do at this point to help out my cities. I want to quit. This is why I've got the extra money, the influence. I want to build stuff faster, and it's because I build stuff faster. I guess my stability goes down, and I end up losing my cities. It's kind of, it's kind of retarded to be honest. It's not like it's not stu It's not a good thing. I don't understand why they are doing that. Uh, we've got... Do we... I think we have an out, uh, already a garrison. Uh, pretty much. I'm uh, pretty sure. So we're, we're good on that part. I think uh, this right here in this tree is the one thing we do, We have to build the most. There we go. Let's just build more industry while we're at it. All these infrastructures and stuff. These districts. Every time we build one, for some reason, it brings us down. I think... I don't like that. I I think that's kind of stupid a little bit. Uh, we are going to upgrade this unit. The war elephant. Upgraded to a knight. There it is. So now we got knights in our in our empire. We can also... What is this? Can do cultural blitz. But that's about it. Alright. I don't know if I go into this land. I don't know if there's really uh, anything we're going to be able to do. There's a, a city right here. Mosh. So a city right beside ours. Yeah, uh, there's. Uh, we need to end this game as soon as possible, boys. I'm not get, doing good. Even with 15. This is going to trend down all the way to 14. Okay. Uh, let's just build the amlet right here. This is costing me a lot of money to build amlets, boys. It's costing me a lot right here. It is giving me food and production, but at what cost, really? Really, at what cost, boys? Okay, so we're rebuilding one again. There we go. We got the money, boys. Also, I do need to build uh, the thorny fields really quick. So it's done. There we go. And creep, uh, we just got to keep building these um, these amlets. Now, it is going to really hurt us big time. So we cannot uh, build these too much, I guess. Now we got another one I'm going to have to build. 
How many do I need to build, actually? I don't know how many I'm gonna have to build, boys. Okay, there we go. That was the last one for this city. And that's a lot of amulets you gotta build. And that's all the way until it's at zero now. Yeah, this is... It's gonna be bad, boys. I There's nothing I can do in order to help myself now. So, this is... I, I don't know how to subdue the people or something. A jubilant. Like, I, I don't know how to help this situation out. How to help my city out. It's kind of frustrating. It, it, you're, you kind of feel helpless at some point. Like, you don't know what to do with this. And I can't build these because of I'm already at zero of stability. This, uh, this city is going to go into a rebellion, boys. It's going to happen. Which is unfortunate. It really is. So I'm not like I don't know. Since it's gonna go into a rebellion, I'm gonna quickly um, there we go upgrade this wallet to a knight. Since it's gonna go into a rebellion, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna head back here, and I'm gonna try and maybe guard this city as much as possible. Oh, you know what? I could li literally build an army. I know this city is gonna lose anyways right it's gonna lose armies okay so yeah i'm gonna just re uh, i'm gonna repurpose this army this army right here this regiment it's just gonna head back it's gonna head back towards napada and it's gonna eventually prepare itself to attack it again and uh, for this regiment right here we actually need them to uh start exploring continue to explore and we're gonna eventually settle uh, get another city right here or something boys all right, that's pretty much a good. We need to research a new technology. So let's research. Oh, we, we got gunpowder eventually that we could do. Uh, a seafaring mastery, I guess, is the, the one that is the closest for us right now. So we'll do that one. And what about uh, one idle army? That's got to be my, my fleet, right? Yes, my fleet is the one that uh, I need to move. Just gonna cover the rest of the lands right here. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Okay, perfect. And I think that's it, boys, for this turn. A long turn in order to figure out what to do with uh, my cities and all. It's uh, it's really tough. Oh, uh, I don't have anything that's being built here. Let me just do a bunch of games, boys. I'm actually gonna quickly purchase a game and stuff. There we go. Quickly purchase one. And we're gonna just do one, another one. Just going to continue to do games for now. We're not going to do any districts because we know for a fact that it's not going to help out anyways. Districts are not going to do us any good at this point. So let's just end the turn really quick. As we enter turn 70, Napada gained a, a more a more populous. Everybody's gaining popula population. Used to be a time where I was happy for population uh, gaining. But uh, at this point, I'm not happy anymore. I, I don't even want it anymore, boys. This is too bad. It's way too bad. Napada is now at 4th Populous. I just don't want any more Populous. Because we're just going to keep gaining. Look at the food we're producing. Here's the problem. We, we have too many districts. And we've got too many like too many outposts attached. That's what's causing the problem. And because of that. Uh, we're going to lose the city. We're going to lose it. It's a big city as well. Which is kind of a shame really. It's a shame. It's a really big city. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, can I move finally? Oh, this is gonna take a while to mobilize this army. Yeah, it's really gonna take a while to mobilize this army. I kind of want to take a risk and absorb it. Absorb it into Toledo, boys. Uh, we can take. Oh, the. I don't know if I actually can take the risk. Uh, the hit. The hit. Because look at that. 19%. 84 stability. Wow, yo, stability is a problem in this game. Developers, please. Stability is a really big problem. Like, it's unbelievable. Like, what are you... What are you trying to do to me, man? I can't... I can't control stability. Money, everything else I can control. There's nothing you can do for stability. Stability is just a plague. It's awful. You, there's literally nothing you can do about it. You can't buy, like, procession doesn't work anymore. You can't do anything. The fuck are you supposed to do in this game? If the spill of stability doesn't work. Oh, I'm kind of clueless right now, boys. I, I don't know what's going on with this game. We're covering more lands over here, I guess. 
And if we go all the way over here, we've got our fleet, which is... We're about to lose that fleet because it's lost in sea. Yeah, it's kind of lost in sea. We're about to lose it. It's losing a lot of health. Oh, okay. I'm just getting unlucky at this point. I'm just getting trolled big time. I am completely lost for words, boys. We're gonna big time... We're gonna lose a lot right here. Next turn, probably Napata is gonna be rebelling. I don't wanna... I, I can't, it's not like I can uh, get Napata into Toledo. It's not like I can do that because I've got uh, literally a, a, a problem with my stability everywhere. Even Toledo has a problem now. The whole market thing, the Hamlet thing, it ended up hurting us. I guess quickly building stuff is not a good idea in this game. I guess that's how it goes. Okay, so we've taken a look since we are in turn 70. We can do ISD, which I don't, I'm not sure, what does that mean exactly? Can we do it for these territories? I don't think we can. Why is it telling me I can do it for some, uh, some place? I'm not too sure, like, uh, it seems like everything's good on this side, okay. Well, I'm not too sure, I think I did it, but I'm not too sure how it worked out, uh, or whatever. This army right here, let's start, let's go over here. There we go, we're protected again. Uh, we are about to enter the lands and we also have this army that we're trying to get towards yeah trying to move it towards the uh, the uh, these guys now they need to go towards the uh, the the road system we've got a road system going in oh yeah there we go start moving a little bit faster please just follow the road system should be fine in the next turn Napada is Literally gonna have a, rebe a rebellion. It's inevitable, boys. Nothing I can do. Literally nothing I can do about this. So uh, I, we're just gonna wait for it, I guess. Uh, same thing for Toledo. It's gonna go all the way at 19. So we cannot... We just gotta prevent ourselves. We cannot build anything until it's at 19, boys. We just gotta wait for it. Wait for it to come back up again after that. After that. So... Just work on the market's uh, quarter until then. Also, I've got this army right here. We're still moving it a little bit, trying to uncover as much land as possible right here. Yeah, it's basically doing uh, doing this, uh, the scouting, really. That's what my army is doing right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, we also had a grievance, right? I forgot. We had a grievance uh, over here in Kerma. It's gonna go all the way at zero as well, so it's gonna go and it's gonna have a rebellion. It's gonna have it's gonna happen, boys. Nothing we can do about that. That's my capital as well. If I lose my capital, I lose pretty much everything. It's gonna be pretty much game over for me in a, in a second, boys. We're gonna rub out to lose everything. Not good at all. There's nothing I can do against uh, the 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 the, influ the influence system. I just don't know. I don't get it. I don't go. I, I don't get it how it works. We're also gonna get next turn seafaring mastery, which means we're gonna be able to upgrade our ships. Okay. And okay. So who do I get? Who is it exactly that I have uh, grievances against? Is it the, the Aztecs? We don't have a crisis, so it's so gotta be the Morians then. We don't really have any treaties. Uh, we could share maps, share map information. Let's do that. Let's share map information. They accept, they're going to accept if uh, if I give them money, which I'm gladly going to do. There we go, boys. So, we uncovered their land. Mount Everest uncovered as well. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. Let me see really quick. We actually can see them. Ah, there it is. So, now we know everything about the continent, pretty much. There it is. There's the whole continent. They pretty much have everything secured. So, they did not accept uh, my, uh, uh, my, uh, my demand, which means... There might be war coming up, boys. There might be a war coming up. If that's the case, Even I'm gonna have to bring down their entire city. Uh, we're, yeah, we're about to enter war against them, pretty much. I'm about to have civil war across the entire country as well, so... Not too sure. Let's see Nepada. It's about to fall, boys. So Nepada. Oh, there we go. There's the rebel army right here. Seafaring. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble anywhere you want now and have a better chance of getting away with it. Okay, so it seems like Nepada population has lost two of them. So two of the po of its population actually ended up um, uh, rebelling. So only two of them? 
that's easy enough. I can just deal with them easily then. Uh, Morians actually yielded. So they gave me their territory. They actually decided otherwise and they gave me the territory. All right then. Fine by me. All right, the arbor. That's an arbor right here. We're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna definitely build that arbor up. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to connect this place to, um, to Toledo, probably, or we just get, want it as our own city. We already have an outpost right here, right? Yes, we have an outpost right here. We only have one of them, though. I want at least two outposts for Toledo. Actually, Toledo, how many outposts does it have? Oh, no, it has, like, yeah, it has two outposts. It's got three outposts already. Okay, so yeah, I can't detach the outpost, boys. So uh, I'm just going to have to be stuck with it. There's some army right here. I don't know where these guys came from, but they're coming from somewhere. That's for sure. We have... Okay, let me quickly get rid of all the populace right here that we've got. We're going to quickly build something with that populace. Attitude change. They feel pleasant. Okay, the Aztecs feel pleasant about me. Uh, we are going to simply build up that uh, great fish market. Let's... Build it up, boys. Boom. There we go. That's fantastic. We don't want to build any more districts. Oh, this is going to go at 9. All the way down at 9. Why, though? Why is it going down all the way at 9? I hate that so much. I'm going to go public control for everybody, I guess. Public control? I, I'm not too sure. I guess that's what I got to do at this point. We also have, like, a better ship. So we got the cogs now. And uh, are we, oh, we're not building anything, right? So I got to build something. I could always build... Well, uh, now that I can't build any districts, I know I can't build any districts. I got to focus on uh, on other stuff than that. Oh, I can actually detach it now? Okay, now I can detach it. Yeah, let's detach it. Detach this one. Boom. All right, there we go. It's detached, boys. Which uh, allows my stability to be way down. Uh, way better now. Okay, good. So until we're going to just work on one of those, work on the games. And uh, until that goes back up, we, uh, we're not going to be able to build any more districts. We're going to uh, like play it, play it smart, really. And over here, we're going to create ourselves a city over here. And it's going to have a district. So this is going to be, we're going to evolve this one into a city. There it is. Roma, boys. We've got Rome. So there is Rome right here. Uh, let me just quickly build that. Boom, done. So we've got Rome and we're just going to do public control. Also, we are going to build the amlets for sure. Let's build an amlet right here. Quickly build it. There we go. Perfect. So it's done. We're going to uh, build all the stuff that we need to build right here. Torney Valley, uh, Manuscript Artillery. There we go. Okay, so that's all good. It's all done, boys. And next up as well. Uh, so Roma, we've got we've got you now. Uh, before building the garrison, well, no. Yeah, I'm gonna put the garrison right here. Put the garrison right here, boys. Boom. And that's gonna allow us. That gives us actually stability. It gives us stability. The garrisons. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's pretty much that. We also have. Okay. So now because of that, we can build forts. We can build a lot of stuff. It's gonna take one turn, boys. We quickly build that. Can I now research? No, I can't do anything with that. Okay, so that doesn't mean anything. I'm just going to do... We can continue to build on districts. So uh, before I build anything... Hold on. I don't want to do that. I am going to attach this one. This outpost to this. There I go. Perfect. And uh, now it's got its first outpost. We're just going to need another outpost over here. Okay. And uh, that's going to be uh, that. Do we have anything else? Uh, okay, so what's the next thing we want to build here? I guess we want to go for science. So let's go for science right here. Even though it's telling me there's not a, lot, a whole lot of options. I guess we're just going to build a science center right there. Okay, that's pretty much that, boys. Next up, we got to defend ourselves somehow. So this is only only has one population. But the thing is, it's the outposts that are uh, creating a problem for us, I guess. Over here in the Pada. So in the Pada, you got five population. You're just going to keep losing populace over time or something. Let's just do public control again. Going to do public control for everybody. We are going to have to build uh, build uh, the, great, uh, uh, the great stuff for you. And we're also going to have to detach some of those. Detach this one. Boom. There we go. 
We don't need that many outposts. This is way too many outposts. Uh, detach this one as well, okay? We are going to create a city uh, over here that's going to have these outposts, uh, of boys, because this is getting ridiculous. It has too many outposts. Let me detach this one, okay? And now it has one, two, three, four. It has four. We need two. Two outposts per cities. Not more or less, boys. Just two outposts per cities. We're going to keep this one as well. Okay, I think I can keep... Yes, I can keep this one. It's going back to 84% now. So we're going to be fine. Uh, we just need to get rid of those outposts. And now we're going to be fine. So that is done. Now that that is completed. Uh, we can always work on... I guess we can work on these things right here. Work on another Carmen Squatter right here. And get it done all the way over there. It's going to take one turn. And also... Okay, so that's done. Over here, I guess we're going to have to create a city somehow, somewhere around this region. Let's create it right here. Evolve this one into a city. So this one's going to be a city. It's going to be our fifth city. Okay. It's Nepali, boys. Now, Nepali, because we're doing that, we're going to do public control again. Uh, we're going to build all these special uh, uh, buildings and stuff, the special districts. We're going to build all of them. Boom, just like that. We are going to create an amulet. We're going to build that, uh, build one. There we go. We're, uh, we're going to attach ourselves to these. These three right here. So I'm saying maybe three. A maximum three for cities per city. Uh, three outposts per city is maximum because it, it does get, become a problem eventually. So we want to be careful about that. So uh, we do have this, this one right here. So we're going to build one over here. Build a, build a theater, boys. We're just going to build more amlets as well. Boom. It is creating problems for my stability, but I need uh, those amlets. They need to be the, uh, uh, built, boys. So there we go. So we got another era star done. Builder star. Just going to continue to build stuff, boys. Build a bunch of amlets across the board. There we go. All the amlets have been built. We're going down all the way to 59% uh, right here. I wonder what happens if I start detaching again. So what if I detach? It goes back and now if I do this, okay, so it doesn't change anything. Okay, good. That, that's okay, I guess. It, it, it's whatever, boys. Let's uh, build a fort. There we go. And we're good. We got all five of our cities. We can't have more. I'm still going to build more. It doesn't matter to me anyways, but uh, we've got all three of the outposts right here. So Napoli is going to be doing uh, just fine. We just need to be uh, careful about the districts. So gaining the uh, districts are a problem right now. So what we want to do is just continue to focus on, on games. Just do a bunch of games and stuff. That's going to do just fine. You are gonna, uh, you're about to enter the land right here. There we go. So we're entering the, the, the Aztecs land. With this guy, we're, about, uh, we're just going to follow the roads. And uh, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna follow the roads and start attacking these guys. Napada, we already looked at it. I think everything's fine now. Yes, it's gonna be fine. It's got three outposts, right? And I think these three should be more than enough. So let me detach this one. We're gonna detach this one, boys. This outpost is detached. We are gonna attach it to someplace else. Yeah, Toledo has two outposts. So we can attach itself to this one. There we go. Now it's got three outposts. So there we go. So Toledo now has the three outposts. That's good enough. And are we good for Kerma? Are we in public control? Nope. I need to be in public control, boys. All right, here we go. So that's done. That's done for them. We've got ourselves... Wait, before I do anything, I am going to attach this one to this. There we go. And now I can build the fort. What we're going to do with this uh, city... I guess because we don't have any problems with the uh, with, uh, with the science or anything. We're just going to go ahead and, and build some science. We need some science. So let's build a, a science center, boys. All right. So it's only this one only has one outpost. We're going to have to find ourselves two more outposts for this city in particular, boys, for uh, for Milano. While over here, we're still trying to figure out... Uh, I actually need to come back. I need to... I need to come back, boys. Because I, I actually need to... Uh, 
to start going into and attack these guys right here. I need to deal with the uh, with them. And also while we're doing that, while with this army, we're gonna be able to create an other outpost. Like we already have one outpost, we're gonna have two more that we're gonna need here. Let me do guilds, boys. I like that saboteur idea. I could sabotage these. They can rebel out and eventually I could take them from behind. That would be a good idea. And next up, we do have an event right here. What is this? So the inhabitants of Nepal are tired of perennial chaos that comes with a lack of an official city administrator. Daily life is difficult and without clear leadership, the city's economy is not growing as well as it could. As a result, the citizens have taken matters into their own hands and have formed a number of organize organizational committees in many matters from agriculture to finance. You wish to step in? Okay, so they want an administrator. Prohibit? That would uh, give us plus one city cap? Let's see how they, they get uh, by without an, administrator, uh, without an administrator. This could be a great example of self-governance. No, let's, let's wait it out. An extra fame, boys. Extra fame. Let's wait it out. I'm kind of intrigued in the pada right here. That what they're trying to do. I'm intrigued by that. There's a, there is one of my cities that needs to build something or something. Uh, uh, I, I think it's in Nepada. Nepada needs to build something. It's gonna go all the way back at hundred as well. Look at that. That's really help uh, help them out. It helped them out big time. Corman's quarter give us stability over time as well. So let's just build that. It's gonna get uh, one turn. Okay, that's pretty much that. So we're gonna end the turn right here, boys. Lots of stuff happened in this video. Uh, minor stuff. We did build up uh, two new, uh, three new cities. One of them is actually a new one. It's uh, Rome. The ne uh, the other ones is Napoli, uh, which we basically got rid of some outposts. We had to split up our empire a little bit and our kingdom and actually get uh, more cities into it uh, instead. I mean, it felt like uh, that was the way to go right there because absorbing other cities that didn't seem like the way to go for me. So we'll just leave it like that. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.